After looking through the patch notes, I have absolutely found out that there are new orbs. I thought so. There are other new orbs from the ones that I had found previously, being the Bully Ball. And I am going to just see if I can't maybe get some builds going with them. I think I have an idea of what they do, but I didn't really look at them too much, so I'm really not sure exactly what I'm looking at. And in the comments of the last video, I was also told that the Bold Orb does retain its, um, it does retain the piercing all enemies, but only after it hits level 3. So. I mean, I think that's a pretty cool change. I think it's a fairly neat change and generally a pretty good one. So I'm pretty happy with that overall, uh, despite it making the early early levels of it much worse. The later on ones are still very good, which I think is a good change. It's a good trade-off. And I should be able to just hit that. I do wish the other one showed up, but I don't really know why it didn't, to be honest. It kind of did something weird there. I'm not sure why it didn't show up. But yeah, I'm... Wow. I can't believe this is the first time I'm seeing this. Plus one, plus one for each bomb detonated this battle. Wow. They made bombs even stronger. That is an absurd thing. That, that just makes bomb builds just incredible, I feel like. I feel like it'll definitely do really well against the last boss, or if you even get like a recombobulator or anything like that. It's gotta be really good now. And there goes my boulder, doing nothing. Of course. Then again, you can't really expect more than that. Uh, after all, it is a little bit of a problem. I guess the shock absorber isn't as good if you there aren't any uh any bombs on the field to begin with so this one didn't have too many bombs but i mean i think it's still decent like a 2-2 isn't good by any means but i guess it really does depend on what map you what map you have but the second and third gears are probably pretty good for it regardless just hit the crit here. I'll take a bit of damage, just just a little bit. And of course, you survive with two, so I take an extra little bit as well. Let's see if there's a, any... No, okay, so it is a projectile one too. And, ooh, okay. So it changes the red bomb damage here. I think I'm gonna do that, just so I can see what the level three one is going to be and i'm trying to take as many fights as i can normally i would take the question marks because i feel like it's more entertaining to the question marks because I, I don't just chance <laughs> um so i i normally like going for them but in this scenario i do think i am going to just go for as many fights as i can because i'm pretty sure there's another new orb as well that i haven't seen yet I have seen, in my failed runs, another one, but that one's not too, too interesting. This is the real interesting one, though. The Shock Absorber. And, okay, Shock Damage from Bombs reduced by two. Okay, so that just makes Red Bombs a lot, like, very doable with this, especially with, like, an Oboe or one of the healing things. An oboe alone would mean that that's just a one damage thing at that point. Which, I mean, that's pretty good, if I do say so myself. Shame I detonated that many that early, but, I mean, that's okay. I think it's okay, anyway. Mainly because, despite this only having overflow, the I guess the third bomb detonating makes it less fine. But you know what, it's okay. I am just playing on Cruise. Uh, I'm not playing on Cruise Wall just for the sake of exploring. I didn't want to get a run with the new stuff and just have it fail really early on. So, because especially because this is the first time I'm ever seeing the Shock Absorber, and I've done quite a few amount of runs. So 
It's not like I haven't, I haven't uh, been looking, but I really just wanted to make sure that on the one run that I did finally manage to find it, it was gonna be a decent one. So here I am. Hmm, okay, okay. So I'm taking a bit of damage now, not too big of a deal. As long as I kill this thing relatively quick. It's not looking too great for that, though. Uh, hopefully I can hit this refresh. Not able to. Do hit the crit, though, which is at least something. Maybe the crit here? Ah, wow. It managed to hit that crit, too. Very surprising. This one's pretty much a gimme. Uh, and there we go. I didn't take too much from it. Took more than I wanted to. But, ah, uh, that's fine. Let's see, let's see. Powder Collector, every 30 hits is converted to a bomb. That is really good with the Shock Absorber. I think that's what I'm gonna take. And, you know what? I'm feeling, I'm feeling risky. Let's go, let's go through these question marks, huh? See if I can't find anything neat. Shake the tree, yes, I will take the egg. And I guess we'll go to one last question mark. Just so I have... Oh, and this is the other new orb I was talking about. The Orblation. Can target any enemy, deal seven unblocked self-damage. So it's really just an another enabler for... Another enabler for the... Um, what's it called? Bully Ball? That's the one. Um, which I think is really quite interesting. Uh, as a concept in general. All bounces contribute to damage. Oh, I mean, not bad. And I will go to an elite fight. Hopefully it is the... I mean, this one should be pretty decent. I think I'll spawn a decent amount of bombs because of the powder collector. And be... that should probably make this fight a lot easier than it has any right to be. Um, that's, that's at least my thought process right now. And so far, that does seem to be holding true. Yep, yeah, very nice thing. Kill the front one again. And now just one left to go. A 4-4. Four, four. I will take a 4-4. Four, four. How about that? And just enough to finish that one off. I will do Bold Orb here, just so I finally get that. I transition it from an Overflow to a Piercing Orb. Very good. Okay, so I think the board will contain two additional crits might be the best in this scenario just because in general I have a lot of uh, just high damage orbs, although I'm not necessarily crit dependent yet. I don't really have that much of a build going on at all to begin with, so I guess I don't really have a preference now that I think about it. But... Yeah, it's fine. I'm spawning a decent amount of bombs. I, I'm always shocked by how many bombs the Powder Collector actually spawns. And that is very neat. Oh, so it gains regardless of if it's the thing that procs the bomb, or if they've already been procced beforehand, it still gains the damage of it. That's good to know. I'm not sure how useful it'll be, but I mean, it's good to know regardless. And Orblation, just 2-2 two, two upgrade, at, and also one less self damage. That's pretty good. The Illusion of Choice. I'll head down to the left path. It looked like it was a little bit more. Take a moment to rest, gain 15 HP, and a strong monster too. I'll take that. This, I feel like, is actually going to be a very easy, uh, strong monster fight. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe a little. One bomb and it's all done. I should hit one. I shouldn't hit one, I guess. Okay, I'm very wrong. There we go. Now we're all done. Very good that I started with the boulder, bold orb there, though. And one less self-damage, absolutely. Okay, this is very tough. I'm definitely going with the Recombobulator or the Alchemist Cookbook, but the question is, what one? All three of these are very good ones. 
This one, refreshing previously thrown bombs, is only good on maps that start with bombs, whereas this one, I feel like will do me better overall. So Pag's having a 7% chance to refresh into bombs has to be pretty good, especially for the shock absorber. Let's see. Ah, do do. Just need to hit a few here, honestly. Was it enough? It was enough. Very nice. And I will just skip you for now. Sadly, didn't hit too many bombs there. We'll skip on my egg. Gotta keep that. Always gotta protect the egg. I recently had a uh, backpack hero build. If um, that it was just, I had a brick build, and someone in the comments was like, what is a better roguelike, uh, roguelike weapon than a house in your backpack? And the only thing I could think of, ooh, another shock absorber, is, uh, <laughs> is an egg. An egg is the best roguelike weapon that I can think of. I don't know what it is about it, but I really enjoy it. Ah, dang. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to throw a very bad orb here just to protect my egg. But you know what? It's okay. Uh, will it be a 2-2? It does look like a 2-2. And it's only hitting the tree anyway, so I mean not not that big of a deal. Hopefully I can't get I actually had to throw both of those. Dang, that really is very unfortunate. Hopefully this goes fine. Wow, this is uh, getting kind of dicey now. Need to hit two every single time I want to get rid of anything. Although I am, I feel like the that one orb has to be getting very strong right now. The um, shock absorber, it's gotta be good now. <laughs> I think that just ends it. It does, a 312 damage bold orb. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it would have been a 9-9. Every shot has multi-ball 1, but attacks gain minus 2 minus 1, 2. I actually think that's going to be really good. Uh, it might not be the best, I, I'll be honest. But where I'm hitting a lot of bombs, and my orbs kind of scale up very quickly in that regard, I th that's kind of my thought process there. Just like hitting as many orbs as I am hopefully going to be hitting. Dang, that's really unfortunate. Two bombs spawned on that. And of course, both of my like first shots had to be like my shock absorber ones. Very unfortunate, but hey, what can you do? Okay. Uh, here's a question. Do I- I think I gotta go for a guaranteed kill, rather than the potential to kill two of them. And finally, this one should be able to kill both regardless, so that's- that's my thought process there. Let's shoot down here. Just gotta hit a few bombs right now. I'm probably going to take ten more. No, actually I'm not. Very nice. There we go. Now it's finally scaled up, of course, on the last shot, my where my orb is actually going to be doing huge damage, it doesn't do anything. And I guess I'll head down this way. Wow, not a single elite fight. I do not often see no elite fights on the map. Quite, in quite interesting, honestly. There's one bomb. I think a second bomb also spawned. It didn't get hit, but did spawn. So that's gonna count for something, right? Do do do. Not so great there. I'm kind of hoping I can't get some other sort of bomb synergy going right now. Maybe like the peg thing, or like I forget the name of it, honestly. It's the one that spawns three bombs, three extra bombs, maybe in the bombulet as well. Both of those together would be great. But regardless, I think it's pretty good. I'll take another Shock Absorber. Sure, why not? 
Maybe I'm diluting my... I... Diluting my deck. Also, this is absolutely absurd because I went so long not finding a single one of these things, and then in this one run, I am finding this many. That's just really funny to me. I think this might honestly just be a one-shot. I don't know how many bombs I hit, but it had to be a lot. Uh, yeah, it's gotta have been a lot by now. Is it enough? Yep, yep, six sixes, pretty good. Six six is very good, in fact. And now it's only it's only gonna scale a bit harder too, because <laughs> I think this hit probably more than the first shot too. Wow, it's doing twelve hundred damage before twenty. It now is twenty one twenty one. Maybe it wasn't so necessary to do that. Maybe, but hey. What can he do? I would I would have liked to get that extra question mark, but eh. Not the biggest deal for me to miss it. Going to try and go for this crit right away, so I can maybe get 200 off on the archers. So I do not have to deal with them. It looks like one boulder is just going to be able to mow right through everything, though. So that's pretty good. Shock absorber. Upgrading. Going to get a basic blade. All attack skin plus one plus zero. That's pretty good. For the times where I don't crit, but I feel like a lot of the time I am going to be critting and getting rid of I didn't mean to shoot that. But you know what? <laughs> it doesn't matter in the end because I did go to where I wanted, although it is my least favorite fight in the game. I'm even going to slow this down. Maybe I shouldn't have shot this right off the bat, but I think it's fine. I'm hoping. Um, I'm hoping it's fine. Slow down, get that bomb, and hopefully get another one here too. It does not look like I will, but that's more or less okay. Need to hit this refresh. There we go. I was really worried I wasn't going to be able to hit that refresh, because it, like, it did the little, um, blink out of existence halfway through, and I was like, oh no. Oh no, I missed, didn't I? But no, it does look like I was able to hit it, so we're looking good on that front. Maybe another one? That would be ideal. No, no extra one there. Not for me. Okay. Very good. Hit the crit there. This bold orb should probably be good enough to kill everything. That's my hope anyway. Just had to basically get down to a bold orb, I guess. And the bombs together too were pretty much fine. I'm probably gonna head over to the left, get the three question marks back to back. Hopefully get the cake relic. That would be amazing. Uh Unicorn Horn, your aimer is longer and displays an additional bounce. Sure, why not? Not my favorite relic, but it's not my least favorite one either. I will fight these guys. I don't love this fight, to be honest, but I'd rather fight them than have to deal with three extra stones. My, my deck really does not do well with stones, I don't think. Although it's probably fine, but I would rather not have them. That's kind of the gist of things. Eh, that's a lot of bombs. This is essentially... I think I hit five there? Probably, something like that? I don't know. And this should be good, honestly. I hit so many. Yep. Just got 18 left to go. That's two pegs. <laughs> One might 9-8 shock absorber. Oh my. I feel like it's going to be really, really good against the boss. Maybe less so against some of the smaller stuff, but I think that's fine. Duplicate an orb. Honestly, I'm not sure what I want to duplicate here. I feel like I gotta do another shock absorber, but I also feel like the bold orb might be best. 
Well, for the build, I have to go Shock Absorber. I have to. I think it's required of me to do so. Going to go... I think this is just going to melt through everything, regardless of bombs or not, so I mean, that's fine with me. Yep. There it goes. I don't think it... I think it hit maybe one bomb. So... Not bad. Hey, <laughs> got one, one... I'm almost doing damage there. Almost. Not quite. Upgrade, and I will upgrade... You know what, I will upgrade my Dag Orb. Sure, why not? I have four crits on the board. I'm probably gonna hit one. Multi-ball, everything. I'll probably hit one. If I do have to throw it, that is, because I would rather not. I'm going to have to throw this, because I'm protecting my egg. I must protect the egg. Sadly, didn't get that encounter, though. Starting off pretty good. I have no healing, which is actually a little bit of a concern. Uh, I'm hoping it's fine, because my damage should ramp pretty quickly. Especially if I hit a refresh here, yes, I do. The faster I- the more refreshes I hit, the faster I ramp. Because the more refreshes I hit, the more bombs that spawn, the more... Uh, my shock absorbers do damage. Just everything does a lot better. Because it's already a 7-6, and this is only like two shots in. Granted, there are quite a few refreshes on this map, but still, that's pretty good. And there's a lot more bombs to be had. Do I throw this? It is an 8-11. No, because this is an 11-10. And it's just going to get stronger. If I hit a single bomb, it'll be stronger. Wow, that was a lot of damage. I'm just barely sc scraping by here, though. Like, it's going to be enough to get me through here, but not by much. I'll be honest. Well, I mean... So, all orbs gain plus zero, plus four. I think that's... Well, not, now that they... I need more refreshes, so I think I'm gonna go all attacks, get plus two, plus two. It does mean that the egg is inherently going to die, which I am very, very sorry for. Uh, I am sorry for my mistake, but uh, it does also mean that I'll scale a bit faster. And it also means I have to throw this more often, which isn't so great. But, uh, should be fine. Should be. Dang! I forgot that that was because it's targeted, it wouldn't do that. That is quite unfortunate. Will it be enough with the extra two damage? It will be enough. Okay, I'm gonna go Dr. Orb and hope that I can get to whatever I need quickly. Uh, to uh, an upgrade quickly. Before I have to shoot that, preferably. Probably shouldn't have gone for the refresh there. Probably should have waited for a few more pegs to be hit. But I think we'll be fine. Although, these refreshes are in quite bad spots, so maybe not. Uh, maybe they're in better spots than I actually give them credit for. Ah, no, it squeaked back past through there. That's so sad. But... I hit it now, and more importantly, I hit a few bombs now. Should be enough to kill the front one. And... Ah, oh, I just tried to discard. Dang. I tried to get down to my bold orb. Sadly, can't do that. Uh, I miss I'm missing the time when I had all of the bomb relics and just completely obliterated every single map and just broke all of my sounds. Goodbye, egg. You will be missed. At least you healed me some. And I am one orb away from having to use my doctor, which I would rather not have to do. Here's the question. Do I go for three elite fights back to back? 
Oh my, I found all the elite fights that were missing on the last floor, I guess. So, I'm gonna head over to them. If it's getting a little bit dicey, I can always leave after all. Because they're not, like, in spots where I can't choose to go where to go after that. I'm kind of curious how the red bombs actually work with the shock absorber. Do they only need to be in my deck, or do they... Okay, so they need to be the thing to detonate. Good to know. Uh, looking good here, though, because the next two orbs are going to be pretty well insta-kills. Uh, yeah, an 18, 17, I think maybe I'll be fine, you know? Just, just, just a hunch. Just a hunch that I'll be fine there. And first elite fight time. Hopefully. Does look like I'm in down here. I was a little bit worried that I wasn't going to, but uh, hey. That would have been fine in the end. Ah, no, my... My, um... That's so sad. The, um... Uh, Dr. Orb is going to just get lost here. That's quite, quite unfortunate, honestly. But it's not something I can't deal with. Hopefully I can't actually... That's perfect. I just need to hit the refresh with it to make it actually worthwhile, at least. Egg Orb should be pretty good. Not actually that good, but hey, it's fine. We hit a couple bombs. All my shock absorbers are way down at the bottom, which is really sad. Because they are scaling pretty heavily right now. I think, anyway. Yeah, 9 8. 9 8's pretty good. Ah, yay, yay. I need the I need to hit this refresh. Well, this uh, uh how? I thought this was going to be the worst one. How did that happen? Wow, okay. You know what? That's fine. I'm I'm cool with that. I'm going to try and get some decent damage off here. Uh it does not look like I'm going to uh yay, yay. This is uh getting dicey if I do say so myself. I'm gonna get hit twice here. Very good. At least it's finally over. It is finally over. I'm going to grab... Oh, I'm gonna grab the heal. I don't want to grab the heal, but I'm going to. Bomb's dealing plus 15 damage. Great. And I... This is what I was saying, like... If I ever got into trouble, I was just going to avoid the next elite fight. So that's what I'm doing now. Having no discard is kind of unfortunate, but I think it is still better. I'll take a bit here. That's fine, I hope. I'm going to... I'm honestly going to take a huge amount of damage on this fight. Just kip damage. Very glad I took that heal. But everything looks like it should be dead now, so... Oh, and here's the other one. Strong Attraction 2 Refresh and Crit Pegs. Weak Attraction 2 Pegs. I would love to take that, but I need the heal right now. That's going to be another run. The Magnet run. Hopefully I find the Electro Pegnet during that one, too. But I'm going to, going to avoid another Elite fight here. I don't really want to, but... I don't feel comfortable uh, actually fighting that. And I feel like this is just such a great run that I don't want to lose it to something silly like that. Oh uh, no. Not a huge fan of the Orblation, to be honest. For crit builds, I feel like, yeah, it would be pretty good. But, or er, not for crit build, for self damage build. It would be pretty good. Not for the build I've got going on right now, though. I should be able to just kill everything now. That's my guess. Because the next few shots are going to be pretty good. Never mind, I'm just going to hit like an absolute ton of those, uh, an absolute ton of, um, what am I thinking? I, I've lost my train of thought fully right now. Um, just going to hit a ton of 
Bumps. Is that it? I feel like that's not a not at all what I was thinking. <laughs> I've lost my train of thought entirely by now. But uh improved catalyst, dealing plus ten damage. That sounds great. I've got as I've got a bunch of bombs anyway, so seems good to me. Keep on trucking. Okay. So this one isn't actually as bad as it might seem. Because because red bombs deal two less damage to me. And I'm also doing a relatively large amount of damage to with just any bomb. Despite having the minus 15, it's still a lot. Just because of the uh, nature of having um, plus 25 as well. So, I, I mean, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm not complaining on that front. And only taking two is really amazing, honestly. Just head down to another question mark. Hopefully it's not all fights, or at least hopefully I can get to use some of the other stuff. Primarily the Nosferbatu, which it does look like I will be able to. Um... How effectively? I don't know. But I'm hoping it'll actually be decent. So I guess this will probably be the best. It was a pretty good heal overall, so I'm not complaining. Like, it wasn't anything great, but I, it was at least something. It was useful enough. That's that's the the words I'm gonna go with it. Useful enough. Do with that with what you will. Uh, down the edge. Very nice. Uh, do, do, do. Just gonna heal here again. I'm pretty much back to full health. So I guess it's not too bad after that horrible um encounter I had. So this can be both really good and really bad. I'm going to duplicate all orbs. Maybe I might regret that. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Uh, Muster Cold. Start each battle with plus one Muster Cold. Basically plus one plus zero. Eh. It's good. It's good enough. It's something. It's not nothing, I should say. But it's not great at the same time. I'm going to take a bunch back from that. 22. Wow, it survived with 23 health. That is the most unfortunate thing ever. That was actually the worst, one of the worst possible outcomes there that I think could have happened. And of course it happened. Why wouldn't it? So I'm just going to heal. Going to the final boss. It is the Minesweeper one, which is a bit scary at the same time, but... On the bright side, I do have the shock absorbers, which makes me take a little bit less damage and also do a little bit more. Oh, this this is just great. I, I love this. Love this new music for the final boss. I gotta say it's it's great. Also, I I think it might be pretty good just because of the sheer amount of damage that I think I am going to get from just detonating a bunch of bombs. Hopefully I get a bunch of refreshes here too. That would be ideal. No damage buffs yet, but that can very easily change. Oh, I did also see that they fixed it so that you can actually hit the enemies, which is really nice that that actually functions as it should now. I think with this one in particular, I'm going to shoot it this way just for the full heal, honestly. That's my logic there. Now I just need to hit this refresh. Very good. Great to hit a refresh there. As I'm going into my good orbs, Although, 
2826. Oh my. And it's just getting stronger, too. It is just getting stronger. It's now 35 damage on that thing. Uh, I think four more extra. This... Wow. The bomb... Who would have thought the bombs would do very well against the bomb boss? So I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. A huge 45-43 bomb orb. Who would have thought? Um, and if you did like the video, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm coming up on 2K-ish, um, so it would really help me out if you, uh, if you consider liking and subscribing. Um, anyway, see you.